Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a Star Citizen video and I am so excited to check out the new river in Star Citizen 3.17. It's going to be pretty cool. I know it's been in the PTU for quite some time, but now it's in the live build of the game and apparently it's a really nice postcard area, like nice screenshots and it's our first look at River Tech in Star Citizen. So my plan is to do a few videos on this 3.17 update for Star Citizen, starting with the river today, and then I think I'm going to check out the new Hull A. Lots of cool stuff. There's ship-to-ship -ship fueling, so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I've also had to push back a con load of content I recorded on 3.16 with level cap, and I did a video with my Terrapin that's not out yet. So yeah, make sure you subscribe for all that juicy stuff. But yeah, today I thought we'd just take a quick look at the river, see how you interact with it. Can you put a ship in the water? Can you dip your <laughs> nose in the water? Can you swim in it? I don't know. I haven't seen these things. Obviously, it's been in the PTU, but now it's live. It might be different. And uh, yeah, I'll be honest. I kind of wasn't expecting the update today or last night, I should say. So yeah, it's just super awesome that it's finally here. Right, so I'm thinking we take the Constellation Phoenix for a bit of class, you know? We're going to have that nice touring vibe. It's going to look awesome. It's going to look great on the thumbnail, which you guys appreciate. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see if we can navigate this situation because there's no quantum jump to it, which is annoying, but also it means it's like a cool place to, you know, discover, which I love. Beautiful. I love the Constellation Phoenix. It's a lovely touring ship. Looks great. I love it. <laughs> My first ship that I ever pledged. Uh, let's see here. So nice. <laughs> Such a cool moment. Oh, it's like a blizzard out here today, guys. Landing gear. Yes, uh, all of my settings have been reset, which is fun. Love that. That's a great feature. Uh, I didn't make a backup. So, yes, flying is a little tricky right now. But I'm going to persevere, and I'm going to head 205 in this direction, and I'm going to follow it. I'm just going to make sure there's no mountain in front of me. Oh, there is a post, though. Good job I checked. It looks like I'm not going to hit it, which is fine. We're heading 205 for a really long time until... The terrain biome changes from snow to uh, a more sort of greenery sort of a thing. And from that point, we should roughly see the river at some point if we just head dead straight 205 from New Babbage. So I'm rather excited. It's going to be good. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, keep you posted. At the moment, we're kind of like, you know in the storm <laughs> which isn't ideal but look at the views this game doesn't fail to impress does it i mean look at it absolutely amazing the clouds and stuff Mwah, chef kiss although my 3090 right now is at 90 percent <laughs> gpu usage i think the game is a lot more optimized in terms of frame rate uh for the game so if you were struggling before it might be a little bit better now but what I will say is, on the flip side, now, because it uses more CPU cores and it's a little bit more, um, you know, balanced. But in that respect, it kind of makes my recording a little bit choppy and stuff. So I'm going to have to play with some, you know, window settings and tweak stuff a little bit more uh, deeply, I should say. So, yeah. But in terms of checking out this river, at the moment, I'm a happy chap because this is an absolutely gorgeous... <laughs> flight path here absolutely awesome one thing i gotta say guys is i really love the fat by the way with this head tracking uh it's a little it needs to be a little bit more sensitive but one cool thing i've got now is if i lean in i can actually <laughs> lean in as if i was leaning in in the actual like actual space you know it's such a cool um thing and if i you know whoa if there was like a bullet or something i don't know that came through the window whoa, matrix style Obviously, no one's doing that, but I don't know. I just thought it was worth mentioning. It's a shame. There's no um, quantum travel to it, but on the same token, it will probably be a nice secluded spot, although probably not for the first couple of weeks at least, because uh, it does take a bit of getting there. Um, I'm not sure if this is it on my right. 
And as you can see, there's like uh, a bit of a, a biome change. I don't think it is. I think it's just a frozen river. So, because I think it, I think the area we're going to is going to be a lot bigger. Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure that thing on the right that we went past just now was just a lake. I got out of my seat and I had a little look, and I'm pretty sure it was just a lake. Because in front of me, I can actually see more of the greenery terrain. Uh, I'm really hoping I'll just be able to see it, the river. But I don't know. We need to get a little bit closer and a bit lower. Oh, I think I see it. Hey, hey, this is so cool. We found it. So you can see it there on the... I'll zoom in on the gameplay. You can see it there on the left. The river cutting through the cloud there. Oh, that's so awesome. We found it. I'm going to slow up a little bit here. Wow, that's so cool. Our first experience of finding the lake. Now, I know it's just a lake, guys. But here's the thing. The tech that went into, like, making this lake on this planet will be used for lots of other things like roads and um, other streams, canyons. And the tech can be used like for lots of different reasons and this is almost like just a proof of concept i suppose oh, but it's so cool that we found it oh that's awesome so there is a little island from screenshots and things that i'd like to land on that would be great if i can uh take that and then we're gonna get out and have a little wonder oh my i'm so happy we found this by the way I was a little worried that we weren't going to find it, but man, we did. We, we managed it. It's quite hard to see. It's quite small. But, like I say, this is the gateway into new features into Star Citizen and a little tester. Uh, I know this has been in the PTU for a while, by the way. But now it's actually in the live build of the game. I just find it so awesome. Yeah, you see? Wow, that's so cool. I know you guys probably don't think much of this, but this is just... It's its kind of more of what it represents, more than anything else. But I just... Oh, I absolutely love this, man. And landing. Hey, we did it. We actually made it. Look at this view. Oh, there's another ship right there. Dude. That's so cool. <laughs> Look, you see over there, there's another freaking... Oh, dude, that's so cool. Hang on, I just got to get a thumbnail of, over the water here. Oh, it looks so good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, easy. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you, like, dip the... Hang on, let's find out. For science. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, I know what we want to do. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's turn it around. What happens if I, like, just dip the nose in? <laughs> That's what I want to do. Wow, the water effects seem really good, actually. I was a little bit worried they wouldn't be very good, but... No, they seem alright. Okay. For science. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. Hang on. Let me turn around here. We're losing daylight. It's so cool to me that the day and night cycles take so long. I love how the guy is, like, watching me do this as well. Oh, it's so hard to do in, like, a weird cam view. There we go. <laughs> I think there's people, like, arriving, which is hilarious. Whoa, that was cool. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a little uh, nod and a wave to all the people. Oh! 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 Uh-oh. That's not... That's not... Oh! Okay. <laughs> ta <-da! laughs> Let's go and uh, say hello. Okay, maybe use the cargo bay doors to get in, not... <laughs> That's really funny. 
So, my question is, can I just walk into the water? I guess so, because nothing happened when I dipped my... Uh, let's have a look. Yep. <laughs> what? Okay, that's a little bit weird. I hope that changes. I mean, I guess it's airtight, right? Because it's airtight in space. But it's kind of weird to me that the uh, chat moves. <laughs> that's super weird. But okay, sure. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? You alright? <laughs> Look at this. I feel like I'm. <laughs> like I'm. I feel like I'm getting arrested. <laughs> that is such a cool moment. <laughs> Watch this. All right, hang on, ready. I'm going to show my cool friends my new trick. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love the fact the sun's setting as well. It's such a cool vibe. So what happens if I put, like, the ship in it? Let's find out. <laughs> well, that's making it into the video. <laughs> Guys, if you want to make sure you don't miss the next video, we've got some really awesome stuff coming up. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. And I'll see you in my next video. Hmm. Well, at least think of it like this, guys. I did it so you didn't have to. Okay? <laughs>